How's everybody doing? It's your boy Dougie. Today I'm gonna go ahead and review some chicken wings with you. So I've been hearing, uh, actually I saw like one Facebook post, somebody talking about some kind of buffalo style chicken wings that they had at Aldi and how they were like the best wings ever. I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and make the trip. Bought the wings, I'll let you take a look here. Uh, what is it? Kirkwood, Kirkwood, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Fully cooked buffalo style chicken wings. Now I don't know if this is the specific brand that the post was talking about, but when we went, it was the only buffalo style chicken wings they had at Aldi. I figured what the heck, maybe this is probably it. If it's not, we'll find out, but here we go. So if you take a look, gives you cooking instructions. It gives you two different sets of instructions. There we go. Obviously preferred method was with the conventional oven and then microwave. Don't ever microwave chicken wings. I'm just gonna put that out there now. Don't do it. Let's get to it. We already got our pan set up, ready to go. We're just gonna do 10 wings for today. Okay, so we got our 10 wings. We're gonna cook them for 30 minutes. Flip them over after 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead, throw these in. Boom, baby. All right, so that first 15 minutes is up, and this is how we're looking. Go and flip these bad boys over. They smell okay. I don't know. We'll see. And here we go with the moment of truth. So let's see. Okay, so. It's still a little hot. I don't know. Maybe we should wait a second. So my first impression is that the skin falls off very easily. Obviously, it's not necessarily the best thing in the world. All right. Mm. It's not bad. You know, the pre-tossed buffalo are always kind of, you know, hit or miss. Still a little hot. I probably could have waited a couple more minutes. But you know me. I'm impatient. Mmm. Not bad. <clears throat> no complaints, but I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to get them. Yeah, I don't think I'd go out of my way for these. 
I had to guess, I would say that this probably isn't the brand that whoever made the post was specifically talking about. Either that or they don't know what they're talking about. Could be either one of those things. But I say, I'll give them a three out of five. That's not horrible. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll say three out of five. All right, what's up everybody? Coming back to this review because for one, the wife and I ate the wings a little bit later and kind of determined that the rating of a three was a little bit too high because they were just not good, like at all. I threw them away actually. But I still had some wings in the bag and I don't like to waste if I don't need to. So I decided I was gonna give them another shot, except this time I was gonna cook them in the air fryer like I originally planned so we went and did that this is kind of what you can see they look like out of the air fryer give you some light here so they may look burnt but they're not they're just really crispy let's see if they actually are a three or if they're less than which I think they actually are. So here we are. Mm. Ah. So they're better than the other way, but I would say, can't really taste much of the buffalo. Most of like the buffalo breading and everything kind of like fell off in the fryer. I think what I'll do is, I think I'll give these a 2.6 overall. It shouldn't make a difference how you cook them oven versus fryer for them to be good they're much better this way so i'll say if you are going to get these wings if you have an air fryer do it that way basically follow the same instructions as if you were doing them in the oven just with the air fryer like i said kirkwood buffalo style chicken wings i'm gonna give them a 2.6 overall score Get them if you want to, but you can find better. Of course, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that. And we'll see you next time. Peace.